Hello and welcome to MM Design or mm, Design. <laughs> My name is Maria and thank you very much if you are a returning viewer, subscriber, you're the best. And if you're new, hi. My name is Maria. I do fashion videos. I hate long introductions. I do fashion. That's pretty basically it. There you won't see anything else on my channel. I dissect the runway shows and kind of give you the report of what I see, bunching up the trends together and giving you them into nice little candy wrapped packages. Okay, don't panic. It's still me, just different outfit. So while I was editing, it was like way over an hour. So I decided to split it. So this is gonna be part one of the texture trends and stay tuned for a part two. And it's actually been so long that I was editing that it's my birthday weekend. <laughs> I'm a Leo. Anyways, let's get back to it. If you've seen my last video where I was talking about patterns and prints, then you know that runways were lacking in that department but where they lacked they made up in texture and that is exactly what i'm going to be talking about with you today textures on the runways let's just start playing the clips because like oh my gosh too long of an introduction too long too long so you know how I said that there were not a lot of prints. So this season we have so much texture that some designers printed extra texture on textureless garments. We see a few items in Acne Studio, Blue Marine with somewhat of a denim texture print. And this is not new for Y Project at all. We also have a few looks in low A with two cardigans and many, many dresses printed on them with like a vague imagery of dresses, like as if it is a memory of some sort, like very fuzzy, but barely cool still. Y Project had a lot of the texture and they were more creating more rougher, more complex texture, but yes. Moving on to satin. A satin weave is a type of fabric weave that produces a characteristically glossy, smooth or lustrous material, typically with a glossy top surface and a dull back. It is not at all durable as it tends to snag a lot. A fabric that exudes sheer elegance and grace. Whether it's the top, a dress, or a skirt, there is everything to love about luxurious material, often mistaken for silk. Its breathability makes it a perfect choice for hot summer months or a great butt bottom layer during the winter, especially if it's silk. Mastering the art of wearing silk uh, can be a fashion challenge. Its delicate nature demands a keen eye for right styling. If you're not yet acquired with the silky territory, dip your toes in by starting with satin accessories such as silk scarf or maybe a bag in a satin finish. It can instantly elevate your style and add a touch of elegance to any outfit. And remember that the fit is crucial when it comes to satin. Avoid uh, pieces that are too tight as they may emphasize unwanted rolls. Opt for well-fitted or an oversized satin piece instead. And when wearing satin, don't forget about your underwear as it might peek through. To avoid any fashion mishaps, just choose a seamless option that ensure a flawless look. And to strike a perfect balance, don't go all out with the satin for head to toe. Instead, one or two pieces of satin clothing are just enough to add a touch of luxury and sophistication to your outfit. But we do see entire outfits on the, of satin styled on the runways, so who am I to tell you what to do? Experiment and elevate your style by pairing satin pieces with other fabrics like denim or leather. This creates a chic contrast and adds depth to your outfit. Many designers had these contrasting looks on the runways. Another important note is that 
satin is one of the smoothest textures out there and wearing it might not be for everyone. It's all to do with contrasting textures. If you have a problematic skin with extra texture, maybe acne scarring, maybe just rough dry skin. If you have satin close to your face, the imperfections on your face will create a big contrast with a smooth fabric and will be more noticeable. And if you do love this fabric and you are worried about this, maybe in, invest into satin skirts or maybe satin trousers, purses or shoes, something that is far away from your face. So it does not make create that contrast that I spoke about. All right, next one would be sheer. And we see it a lot on the runways, let me tell you. From red carpet to street style, the sheer trend is making its preference felt. Despite its initially impractical appearance, sheer clothing has been a fashion favorite once again. It shares the spotlight with other 90s trends like platform shoes and hair accessories. According to a trend forecaster, uh, Jessica Richards, the sheer trend's popularity stems from the desire for women to embrace the presence of empowerment through their clothing. In respect, the notion that woman's body is her own, uh, not to be ignored, a powerful statement particularly relevant in today's political climate. Moreover, the allure of sheer is undeniable. Vogue notes that many runway dresses were designed to emulate nakedness, embracing the trend's seductive appeal. Indeed, the sheer trend allows you to embrace your inner sensuality, which resonates with many fashion enthusiasts. Now that we know why sheer is making a comeback, Let's explore how to style the strand ways that suit your style and comfort level. Sheer dresses are a major part of the trend and you don't have to be as daring as Megan Fox on the red carpet to try them out. If you want to tone it down, the sexiness I mean, consider opting for sheer dresses with a print like florals or psychedelic patterns. This allows you to maintain a daring yet less provocative look and you don't need to reserve sheer pieces for a special occasion incorporating sheer into your everyday style with a touch of creativity choose one element of your outfit to be sheer and build the rest of it around it whether it's a flowing blouse or romantic vibe um, or a mesh top layered over a sports bra for edgier look. Sheer can be a versatile addition to your day attire for sure. Matching colors could be a game changer with sheer. Consider wearing a pastel sheer shirt with a matching trouser. This creates an elegant and cohesive look for sheer dresses. Pairing them with matching shoes or handbags will have a similar effect. Lastly, the silhouette plays a significant role in how sheer clothing is perceived. An oversized sheer shirt, dress, or top exudes a more relaxed and laid-back vibe, making it a fantastic option of a casual yet chic style. We see this sheer trend with just plain underwear under there, or even tights like in Miu Miu, styling two shows in a row like this. And many stars of and fashion influencers rocking the style as well. I'm just not sure if fall and winter is the right time to freeze your ovaries, um, but if you live in a warmer climate, then the world is your oyster. Um, hopefully this is the right phrase for this moment as I'm saying it for the first time. <laughs> I was actually one of the not many who dared to wear this trend a few years back just as it re-entered the runways and let me tell you not everybody on my birth in my birthday party were okay with it <laughs> i had a simple black body suit thing somewhat of like a one-piece swimsuit but not and a sheer black tulle dress with some embroidered flowers on it later i found out that everyone was talking about my outfit for months 
Um, <laughs> but it was my birthday. I did what I wanted, okay? I am all for having sheer being layer piece, but all the chesticles out and about, um, I hope YouTube is not gonna penalize me for showing these. <laughs> but honestly, why is it okay to have topless guys and not topless ladies? Anyways, you do you, whatever you're comfortable with. If you do love this trend, then you will love the following and it's just maybe the way out of us and not having the perfect skin to try this trend and it's about lace lace lovers this one's for you lace is ultra feminine so far eclectic look an unexpected piece to your ensemble keep your foundation pieces neutral think solid bralettes with body shorts maybe or high-waisted briefs and now play with accessories contrasting colored cowboy boots an oversized denim jacket will create a casual western flair per perfect for a uh, daytime F maybe finish the look with a structured a pop color handbag and maybe some chunky silver jewelry lace has an earthy tranquil vibe lean into the natural beauty of keeping things simple maybe something like natural stone energy bracelets with vintage items to enhance the uh, ethereal feel remember keep it flowing and light uh can decide between edgy and boudoir mm, you don't have to I guess <laughs> layer a motor jacket and a skater sneakers with a lingerie inspired slip and a bodysuit underneath your sheer lace dress find that delicate balance between chic and fashion forward there are a ton of lingerie inspired slips this is not the first time that we see their revival after the 90s but this time along with the classics they are more unique with their different asymmetric necklines or maybe a little bit of a distressed look or a symmetry for formal events or or office appropriate attire go with a nude tone or neutral color slip dress as your foundation layer it provides a right amount of coverage and sophistication and of course don't forget the blazer or an oversized white button-up or even an oversized sweater for that little bit of warmth during the cool colder months and don't forget the rules are meant to be broken stand out with the neon undergarments or a lace slip that doesn't match your dress make a bold statement with contrasting colors if you're not sure how to pair colors check out my video on that after this video sheer lace dresses and swimsuit are neutral or partner they make for cute fun and fashionable cover-ups plus they dry quickly and are perfect for your beach bag if you're going on a vacation that is the enigma of lace is that it can achieve a sensuality and mystery or the sophistication and pristine purity like wedding dress its versatility brings us peace that can accompany us from birth in the christening gown in your youth in subversion of transparent pieces or even the solemnity in our morning veil originally lace was a hand embroidered textile which could be worn by both men and women it was not until the 18th century when it acquired a fully feminine character but we see more uh, and more of blurriness between men's and women's fashion so i would not be surprised I'm sure I've seen a uh, Harry style in lace and we also see it styled in D squared 2 on male models with some very brave styling choices. The lace symbolizes well that reflection that Bernard Rudofsky made in 1944 in his book The Clothing Modern in which he mentions that we often see signs of modesty turn into representation of sensuality a phenomenon that skirts and swimsuits both went through but what makes a different day is lace's duality as a representative of either angelic 
or sinful figures. In any of these manifestations, naive or sensual is just as seductive because it hints without showing. But in the sheer version, it is showing what, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to leather. Leather is still here with us. We've seen this for many seasons in a row now, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything from blazers to dresses to skirts, leather is taking off the from day to night fashion. The 90s inspired leather blazer is the ultimate powerhouse. There is a lot of different leather colors presented. We do see both black and brown leathers as well as some off-colored, something more on a brighter side like red or blue or even green. You can pair them with a tailored pant uh, and a silk blouse for a professional look. For a night out, maybe think about like a blazer with a glossy finish perfect over a de delicate slip dress um, and maybe a pair of mules, but we will talk about the glossy ones a little bit later. Leather pants are back, or have they even gone out? I don't think so. They're really great for office wear or a dinner and drinks. Uh, a low-rise intonation pairs perfectly with a white tank top and minimal leather sneakers. As for leather skirts, whether mini, midi, or maxi, they must have for a new season styling. Leather dress is a wardrobe hero this time around. Insulating fabric with elegance. Opt for a long sleeve midi dress for a polished look that transition from day to night with ease. If you're looking for outerwear, the leather coat collection is ultra modern and can be lightly pat patterned uh, for extra warmth. And you guys, make sure to find out how to care for these leather items. Maybe if it's a faux leather or if it's real leather, just make sure that the items that you are buying will last you a longer time. And that's what we're here for. Try to be a little bit more sustainable to your choices when it comes to fashion. Better quality over quantity, you guys. I know it's hard to do, <laughs> but make sure that you at least try, okay? <laughs> but the major, major trend on the runways was the full-on leather looks. So if you're feeling adventurous, then go ahead. I feel like for fall winter, leather on leather is really, really practical as like you can put more layers underneath if it's a little bit cool, colder and it's kind of waterproof just because it's kind of like slides off of you. It's, it's really, really the best. And I save all of my leather looks for one particular time of the month, if you know what I mean. But I would go for like the darker leather, uh, not really anything white because you would still see something if something were to happen, if you know what I mean. So like whenever I'm wearing leather, I am very confident that I will not leak onto anything <laughs> of importance so if i'm going like somewhere to a friend's house oh during that period i would make sure that i'm wearing leather just so i won't make a fool of myself by like staining their furniture you know you know those days it happens it happens like Mugler had many, many leather and lace combinations, which felt very interesting, felt very like contrasting, but still very like, it's not like they don't belong together. It's just really cool, interesting combination. And they had like these weird one-legged pants underwear situation. And I'm here for it. Like, I don't know where you would wear this or what time of the year, maybe with like a pair of tights. That would be actually pretty cool. But yes, also when wearing leather on leather, even though it's like uh, maybe it's a warmer day, have like a under layer that will have like little cushioning from between your skin and the leather or faux leather. like. We'll talk about this when we get to furs, but it's basically the same thing, whether you go for a real or fur. Real, 
there's lots of like bad things to it but real one breaks down eventually so it's not bad as bad for the environment while the faux leather is basically plastic and it probably will take hundreds of years for it to break down in landfills so yeah make do your own research and do like just figure it out on your own what would you prefer what you think will have a lower impact on our world anyways all right as i mentioned that leather was seen in a few different textures so we do see the kind of a patent leather or a pvc the two trendy materials that are making waves on runways and the street style circuit glossy up plastic and transparent key pieces can be paired elegantly with classic leather or cozy knitwear parent leather and its vegan cousin the pvc are the must-have highlight of the season and beyond designers like balma david coma and christopher kane showcased these glossy fabrics in their fall collections winter is all about high gloss black pvc trench coats and dresses no matter the weather whether you're living in a chilly city or hot destination here are three easy ways to wear patent leather or pvc this winter a pvc pencil skirt can work uh, wonders pair it with an oversized cotton tee trendy sunglasses and chic evening flat maybe a uh, tame bolt colored pvc trousers for all weathers with a textured layering on a warmer day, opt for a premium jersey t-shirt or a slimline linen shirt. When the air gets crisp, wear them with a mohair cover-up or a silk camisole underneath. For hot days, layer a, a blow-up jacket over a super fine knitwear uh, for a fashion-forward edge like in Dion Lee. Yeah, we had a few blow up things on the runways. It's interesting. And just like satin, this is a tricky texture to wear with blemished prone skin. Some more leather textures are the snake or croc textured leather. With so much investment in the textile industry, we have vegan leather taking on more textures. And with more texture, we can rest easy and not worry that everyone will notice our morning breakout. We see these textures not only in accessories like shoes, bags, but in trench format like in Bottega Veneta, Victoria Beckham, and Lanvin. Versace even had the texture featured in multiple of textures like silky tops and even quilted coat. Dion Lee was another brand that had experimentations with other textures and making the texture more like the 3D printing on fabric, working with chains and manipulating leather. All right. If you're enjoying this content so far and you'd like to support me on my page, then all you need to do is like this video. Maybe write me a little nice message down below. And if you're not already, subscribe. Please subscribe, please, pretty please. <laughs> I'm trying to grow and this season is gonna tell me if I should continue or shouldn't continue working on these videos just because like I need to know. It is very time consuming, very time consuming to make these. <laughs> and I just want to know if there is a future in for this or not. Anyways, let's get back to it. Velvet Winter 2023 brought us the standout material that designers won't resist. The luxurious and velvety softness of velvet. From Versace's Barbie pink crushed velvet looks in their resort collection to Balma formal e evening wear, this trend has taken the fashion world by storm. According to Sofia Martellini, senior strategist at WGSN, the pandemic led to a growing interest in tactile experience. Moving away from constant screen time, we crave materials like velvet that offer the sensorial quality. 
inviting us to touch, feel, and play with our clothing. It's a refreshing shift from the passive comfort of 2020s, loungewear craze, somewhat of a fashion fidget spinner, I guess. But Velvet's appeal isn't just about the tactility. Dr. Kimberly Christman Campbell, a fashion historian, explains that the fabric history plays a part too. Traditionally made from silk, velvet was once reserved for the wealthy and even banned from middle and lower class wares. Today, in era of fashion maximalism, the opiance of velvet makes a powerful comeback, reminiscent of the past. With its luxurious connotations, velvet is now a fabric of choice for nighttime parties and special occasions. No wonder it perfectly fits with the winter season, synonymous with the festivity and celebration. All right, Tweed, we're diving in, you guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? L let's do this. A classic style statement that graces all the runways every fall season without a fail. But did you know that this aristocratic fabric has fascinating history tied to British nobility? Believe it or not, Tweed's popularity soared due to the upland bird hunting. Woven from wool, this fabric became the original gentleman's performance wear in the 19th century serving as a camouflage for royalty during their hunting expeditions. With durability, warmth, and water resistance, tweed was the perfect choice for staying graceful and composed while facing cold temperatures. Can you imagine losing your cool if you're just a little bit cold? That's... oh my gosh. Even today, upland bird hunters in the United Kingdom pay a homage for the heritage, proving that Tweed's legacy has far surpassed the field and evolved into a timeless style staple. In the world of high fashion, Tweed continued to make a powerful statement on the runways of luxury fashion houses for both the men and women's fashions. It has become an autumn classic. The fashion enthusiast simply can't get enough of its rugged yet refined, casual yet sophisticated charm. When we talk about tweet iconic status, we can't miss mentioning the legendary Chanel tweed jacket. In 1925, Coco Chanel herself embraced the fabric after spending time with the male friends who sported tweed attire for hunting and fishing. Drawn to its practicality, she transformed tweed into fashion masterpiece that has since become one of the most recognizable garments ever produced. The Chanel tweed jacket symbolizes the fusion of functionality and fashion, capturing the essence of tweed's versatility and timeless allure. So whether you're dressing up for an elegant evening affair or seeking a chic yet practical look for the day, Tweed is the perfect addition of, to anyone's closet. It's rich history, noble origin. As the weather cools down, it's time to bundle up in style. Enduring charm makes Tweed the must-have for the fashion connoisseurs across the globe. I feel like it's such a safe a thing to invest in because it does have this rich history that it's not just a fab for my personal style it's a little bit too classy for me but i do see a lot of other examples on the runways that are using tweed but in more of a modern maybe even sporty way so i might give it a try all right let's move on to knit yes we need some cozy knits. From oversized sweaters to knit ribbed dresses and chunky knits, let's get into it. First up, let's talk about the ultimate comfort meets style trend, the oversized sweaters. These cozy garments are not only perfect for staying warm, but they also add a chic touch to any outfit. Look for chunky cable knit or textured design to make a statement. Pair them with jeans or leather skirt for a trendy, effortless look. Looking for a versatile and elegant option? A knit ribbed dress are the answer. Yeah, they are. These form of fitting beauties 
hug your curves and create flattering silhouettes. Opt for mid or maxi lengths uh, for touch of sophistication. Maxi is what we've seen on the runways the most, I have to admit. Dress them up with heels uh, and a statement jewelry for a night out, or adjust them down with an ankle boot for casual yet polished vibe. Who says knitwear is limited just to sweaters? <laughs> Knit pants are making a big comeback this season as well. They offer the perfect balance between comfort and style. Whether it's a wide leg, trouser, or flared pant, you'll be ready to conquer the day in style and comfort. I think this is from the leisure wardrobe. Yeah, remnants of that for sure. If you're all about the cozy factor, chunky knits are the must have for fall winter wardrobe. For oversized scarves to snuggy cardigans, these statement pieces will keep you warm and fashionable. Mix and match different textures for a trendy layered look. Just look at these crazy hats from Alta Zara. That is pretty cool. I should make one. But the most popular trend this fall in knitwear was the fuzzy mohair knit. Like the ones in Gucci, Mason Margiela, Balma, and many more shows. Having this cotton candy texture is so cozy and so pleasant to the touch. These soft and plush knits are a go-to for staying warm while looking effortlessly chic. The fuzzy texture adds a touch of luxury to your everyday outfits. Whether it's a crew neck pullover or a stylish turtleneck, fuzzy sweaters are a perfect statement piece for those chilly days. When it comes to the outerwear, teddy bear coats are an absolute must-have. These cozy, oversized, and furry coats are not only trendy, but also incredibly comfortable. They make you feel like you're wrapped in a warm embrace wherever you go. For natural tones to vibrant hues to teddy bear coats, come in a variety of options to suit your personal style. And if you want to add touch of luxury in a fuzzy way without going all in, accessories are the way to go. Fuzzy scarves, maybe gloves, earmuffs, not only keep your toasty but also elevate your look. These accessories are fun and playful addition to any fall winter ensemble and we still see them in purse format too. Now let's talk about some style tips to make the most of the fuzzy and teddy bear textures. Pair fuzzy sweaters with high-waisted jeans for a relaxed yet chic vibe. Layer teddy bear coat over a sleek dress for a fabulous contrast. And don't forget to accessorize with fuzzy scarves. Earmuffs for a touch of winter glam. Okay, we have reached the furs, a very touchy subject. But here is the natural transition from the furs, from the fuzzy to furs. Let's dive into the world of fur fashion and its impact on environment. There is an ongoing debate between real or fur, fur. So let's explore the pros and cons for each and how they relate to our planet. And then you just make up your own mind, okay? Okay, real fur has a symbol of luxury and opulence for centuries. Some argue that it provides unparalleled warmth and durability. However, there are significant ethical and environmental concerns associated with real fur production. So let's head into the pros. Warmth and insulation. Real fur provides exceptional warmth, making it suitable for extreme weather conditions. Two, durability. High quality real fur garments can last for many years when properly cared for. Three, biodegradable. This is the major one. Natural fur is biodegradable, meaning it will break down over time, unlike the other one. Anyways, cons. Animal cruelty. That's the big one. The fur industry raises ethical concern as it often involves inhumane treatment of animal in fur farms. Environmental impact, that's number two. Production process includes the use of chemicals for tanning and dyeing and can harm ecosystem and waterways. Three, 
limited availability. So real fur is limited resource, making it expensive and it's contributing to overhunting and species depletion. Okay, so moving on to faux fur. On the other hand, synthetic alternative designed to mimic the look and feel of real fur. It has gained popularity as a cruelty-free and more environmentally conscious option. So pros, of course, it's cruelty-free. Faux fur does not involve the use of real animal pelts, making it an ethical choice for animal lovers. Second, variety. Faux fur offers a wide range of colors and patterns, allowing for creative and unique designs. Three, price accessibility. Faux fur is generally more affordable than real fur, making it accessible to broader audience. Let's move on to cons. Environmental impact. Although faux fur is cruelty free, its production involves synthetic materials like polyester, which have environmental impacts. Two, non-biodegradable. Faux fur is not biodegradable and can contribute to microplastics pollution when it breaks down. And it breaks down very slowly. It's basically plastic, you guys. Anyways, quality variation. Quality of faux fur can vary with some lower quality options shedding and looking less realistic. As we become more aware of our impact on the planet, sustainable alternatives are gaining popularity. Yay for that. Sustainable real fur. Some brands are exploring sustainable real fur practices, such as sourcing fur from animals raised ethically and using byproducts from the food industry. Eco-friendly faux fur. Eco-conscious designers are exploring environmentally friendly faux furs made from recycled materials or plant-based fibers. Stella McCartney is one of those designers. She is very into figuring out new ways of how we could have that those textures but be very earth and animal friendly. As a consumer, it is essential to weigh the, the pros and cons of real fur versus faux fur while considering the environmental impact. Opting for cruelty-free sustainable alternatives can help us make more conscious fashion choices, reducing the ecological footprint. But with these sustainable practices, the price for the consumer is going to go through the roof. For now, my go-to is fur, but upcycled vintage fur. They're already there and might as well wear them or maybe upcycle them, you know? Like, should I just throw it away? I don't think so. The other thing about faux furs, uh, just because they're so attainable, so many people buy them and I feel like it's contributing to a lot of wastage and a lot of pollution too. Faux fur jacket had a major resurgence this winter and if the runway are any indication, the trend will be coming back in full flurry force next year as well. Fringe, yes, fringe. We see this probably almost every season, but let's just look at it more. <laughs> From elevating your leather to customizing your crochet, fr fringing might be the trend for you, I guess step out of your comfort zone because fringing is not for the faint of heart. It's flamboyant, stylish, and perfect for making a statement. Whether you're dressing up or down or fringing, it adds a touch of excitement to your outfit for sure. It's definitely the unofficial uniform for cowboys and the Coachella goers, making a perfect choice for those looking to embrace the festive feel. When it comes to fringing, uh, there's something for everyone's taste. Uh, like Roberta Cavalli opts for a classic tan and neutral colors, while Jill Sander brings the trend to life with some vibrant ones. So whether you want to unleash your inner cowboy or stand out in a classy event, this is the ultimate trend to try this season. And we have both like beaded fringe or just like super long ones, super short ones. Just make sure that 
you are staying safe with it because I feel like there's so much things that can happen with fringe that might be not super safe to wear it for everyday life. All right, well, here we are. This is the end. I hope that you guys had some inspiration of how to pair things together on your own, how to take these trends and actually apply them to your everyday style. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to figure out if YouTube is my future or maybe I should concentrate on something else. So if it just doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. <sighs> Whew, yeah. And as I mentioned, this was a part one. So make sure to get there and see the other half of the texture trends, which will have like the major, the major trend top pinnacle yes <laughs> anyways it's my birthday weekend so you can write me a little message down below if you want of course like i'm not pressuring or anything but anyways let's get back to the past maria if you're ever curious to see my personal style and how i dress from day to day although i was super busy and not been posting but anyways my instagram here you go you can follow me there maybe if you have a question for me about a specific item of clothing you don't know how to style something just send me a picture and ask and i'll do i'll just give you a few things that come to my mind um and yeah i really appreciate if you're still here and watching this video to the end you're the best maybe if you are one of those people comment down what's what random like an emoji um maybe like three hearts and then i'll know it was you <laughs> i hope you're gonna have the amazing rest of the day and yeah stay classy bye